What is up, everybody? Scape211 here, and... Oh, they went ahead and did it. The Unicorn is here. We have the Disc Launcher 12. Now, uh, I talked about this being a far later possibility or something they're not going to focus on. I actually made a video about this pretty recently, uh, about three weeks ago, uh, and I can't believe that this weapon is here right now. That's just crazy to think about. Um, it makes me wonder, like, should I start making other videos that say other things? Like, there's no way they're going to give us, uh, more acorns in tourney, or there's no way they're going to, you know, uh, give us free, uh, legendary implants. I don't know, like, saying things that are, <laughs> there's no way they're going to give us free tokens for events like this. I don't know. Say things that I don't think they're ever going to do, and maybe they'll do it. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I, uh... I, I'm quite surprised that they did this. This is obviously going to be super strong. Like, you know, I, I don't really need to tell you this weapon is good. We all know it's good. But we can talk a little bit about this event and all this stuff and, and some of the, the stats and details and everything. Obviously, I don't have it, so I can't really show you gameplay footage. Um, I don't plan to spend on getting it right now. Uh, but, yeah, so the, the event tokens are 10 bucks each. And the possibility of getting everything again is decent. It's it's even all around. But yeah, you're gonna have to spend on this event. If you look at its raw stats at three star, which again I'm I'm surprised that they're doing this, um, but also at three star. So it means you're just gonna have to spend more to upgrade, which of course are just trying to get you to spend more instead of giving it to you um, at the legendary rank of five star. But anyway, uh, at three star, its damage per magazine is already pretty darn good, 18k. Um, if I compare that with my disc launcher right now, mine are not maxed, but mine are at 22k. So they're pretty close to it. And I'm only three uh, levels away from maxing this weapon. So that's pretty crazy. At max, the disc launcher 12 is about 24k. Um, so it's only a little bit more than what I have right now. The disc launcher 16, when it's maxed, is at about uh, 32k, almost 33, right? So it's getting up there pretty well. Uh, the rest of the stats wise, the magazine reload, optimal range, everything else is the same. The fire rate actually though is a little bit slower than the 12. Uh, the 12 is 100 um, RPMs for the fire rate. This is 92.3. So a little less than 10%, maybe about nine ish percent in that range. So uh, a slight difference there, but of course it's a bigger projectile. Maybe it's a, a balancing thing they wanted to do, but Still, I mean, that's a, that's a minor, super minor gripe when you consider what this thing is doing. Um, and obviously, even those are just the raw stats when you look at it with pilots. I, I don't have the best setup for Rosa, and mine is not maxed. Uh, but that obviously adds a decent amount to my my 22 energy. I'm adding, you know, uh, 10K, you know, a little over that, 11K. So uh, the disc launcher 16, when you max that out, like let's say I had a max Rosa and the best... Uh, implants maxed out you're at almost 60k per uh per shot or i'm sorry per magazine um for each of these uh so that's insane all right when you're when you're looking at both of them together like 120k or uh, right around there a little bit less than that actually because it's not quite 60k it's like 58 and some change um but it's insanely good you can kill stuff with that in uh two to three volleys of, of both weapons, right? Um, so, and depending on where you hit them, right? That's that's the flat damage. Of course, if you're hitting them on the side and back, that's going to vary, but, and depending on what mech you're shooting at, right? If they're beefy or whatever, but that's insanely strong, all right? Um, so again, I don't, I don't need to tell you how good this weapon is. We all know that, but yeah, I, that's just crazy. But um I don't, like I said, I, I don't have it, so I don't really have footage to show you of it myself. Um, so I guess just telling you the raw stats and we'll leave it at that. But there are a couple other things I wanted to talk about, all right? So we also have this other Tengu and, and Nova-based event crate rush going on. This is also a paid one. People are asking, do you get a free one? No, you don't. This is paid. You can usually tell by the stats. If they're all flat like this and you have a flat percentage chance of getting the high-end item and it's not way down, um, then you're not going to get a free token. That's just how it's going to work. Uh, but this one is also 10 bucks per spin. All right. And what's interesting for me is that right now in the shop, I have an offer for Tengu. Now this is only two stars, but I guaranteed get him and it's only four bucks. Part of me is honestly considering something like this. Like I, I don't, I'm not spending money on this game right now. I haven't been, I've just decided not to. Um, 
just because of the direction I think these are going. But uh, honestly, that's that's a quite a good deal when you consider the idea of you're getting it for sure as opposed to a spin. Yeah, you would get uh, potentially more from it. But um, I I don't know. I, I just think that that's crazy to think about. But you also have to remember Tengu came out about a month ago. And uh, that was when its first event crate rush was. So now makes sense to see a different event crate rush or offers in the store um, for money for that kind of stuff. Uh, so that means with this, with the Disc Launcher 16, in about a month, you should see straight money offers in the store. And then after that, maybe two weeks to a month after that, you'll see the A-Coin based event. All right. So in a month from now, we'll see the A-Coin based Tengu and maybe Nova event. And then we'll see the second paid event for Disc Launcher 16. And I say that so that if you're a free to play player, start saving your A-Coins up now to make sure you have, I would say, about 4,000 A-Coins ready to get the Disc Launcher 16. Because uh, you, I will say if you want to be competitive, this is a weapon you need to get. All right. I can already say that without even playing with it, um, seeing some other footage of it. You need to get it. OK, so that was the other thing I want to mention, just to make sure you keep that in the back of your mind, if, especially if you're free to play or even a pocket change player to look out for that kind of deal in a month or a little bit longer for getting it with Acoins. And then the last thing I wanted to mention is that they have adjusted the implant cost for changing implants. All right. This is a limited time event, so I don't know how long it's going to stay. But if I wanted to take off my my stuff before off of uh, like a guy. So this is a pretty hefty implant and mostly upgraded. If I hit remove, look at this right now. I'm going to recover 90 percent of my scrap for free. And then for only 75 a coins, I will get 100 percent back. This is insanely better than what they had done before or what the base game does. They did say this was for a limited time. So I have no idea how long it actually is going to run. Uh, so if you're someone that likes to experiment, now is the time, right? Uh, to make sure you get either most of that scrap back or all of it if you want to spend just a few A coins. So this is actually quite a good deal for doing things. Um, honestly, I hope this is the way they keep it all the way in the future. This is way more reasonable. Uh, but if they don't, I at least hope that they continue to do limited time events like this. Uh, so that we have windows of when it's good to experiment that at least is far more reasonable and fair and gives us all like a way to do this because they have made it so cost prohibitive to just experiment with stuff. So um, I hope that continues anyway. Um, yeah, that was that was all I was going to say on each of those. Um, I'm, I'm trying to think if I'm leaving anything else out. But I think that was all I was going to say. I guess the only other thing I was going to say is, you know, if you're someone that plans on getting the Disc Launcher 16, I'm curious to hear what you plan to do with your hanger, especially now that you're able to experiment with stuff. Because if I get the 16, I could either straight put it on my Guardian, so I have the dual 16 and then the dual 12 in my hanger, or if I wanted to do even three mechs with disc launchers, I could keep my disc launcher 12s the way are on my kill shot and then have a disc launcher 16-8 like with the eights, if you happen to have the other disc launcher eights uh, on a couple mechs. So then I have three mechs with disc launchers, which is crazy because that's such a strong meta weapon. Uh, I will say I probably will be playing if I get it. I'm not sure when I'm going to get it. Uh, I'll probably be putting it with Major just because his flat stats are so good and cycling out my Carbine 12s. Carbine 12s are a great weapon, of course, but obviously Disc Launcher 12s in a lot of ways for many people are better, and of course Disc Launcher 16s are. So that is what I, I think I would do with my current hanger the way it is. So obviously, I mean, you guys uh, know that this weapon is super strong, but I'm also curious to hear if you guys plan on getting it, what you plan to do with your hanger, uh, if you're gonna wait and get it later. I know I'm probably gonna wait and get it later, but yeah, uh, just uh, curious to hear what you guys plan to do and what you think you'll be doing in your hangers with this new weapon. So uh, I hope you're all having a good day and we'll see you out there on the battlefield.